When I heard the gunshots, um, I got out of bed and I looked out the window and all I remember was seeing him run across the yard. And that's when I ran to, the, to my front door to open my front door and saw my son on his knees. That night was 11 years ago when Vernalisa Gutierrez's 20-year-old son, Jesus Adrian Amaya, nicknamed Jesse, was shot during an attempted robbery just four blocks from home. I was yelling and, you know, obviously hysterical. I was asking him what happened, who did this, and I couldn't find where it was he was bleeding from. Um, he didn't say anything to me. Bernalisa's son died in her arms. It was like a horror movie. The FBI identified 31-year-old Mario Guadalupe Vasquez for his alleged involvement in the shooting death of Jesse. Solano County Superior Court charged Vasquez with homicide in 2013, and an arrest warrant was issued in 2022 in federal court after he was charged with unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. He broke my family. Definitely broke my family. Um, my marriage, um, myself, because nothing's the same anymore. He, he took my granddaughter's father. My granddaughter has to live without her dad. Um, he took a lot from us. And now the FBI is offering a $25,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of Vasquez. As a mother losing a, losing a child, that's the worst that could happen to a mother. If whoever's out there, if they know and they're a mom, um, just think of it as if it would happen to you or your family. Wouldn't you want justice? I want justice for my son. Teresa Cordermanch, her close friend since age 16, knows this pain well. Her 22-year-old son, Fairfield Councilman Matt Garcia, was shot and killed back in 2008. Do the right thing and help this family have some, there's never closure, but at least a, a sense of justice. In Fairfield, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox, 40 News.